You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Dean. From the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Gossip Girl After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424 256 1729. That's 424. 424- 256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Gossip Girl After Show. Welcome, everybody. Bing is for doing, and we're here doing part two of the Gossip Girl finale. New York, I love you. XOXO. X. It is Phil Svitek joined alongside... Sarah Stretton. Hello, Part two Sarah. Part- of our three-part series for the finale of Gossip Girl. I know. Last night, as I announced to the fans, Sarah, Roxy, and Jessica were in such shock and um, pain, if you will. I just needed... Sadness. I just needed some morning space, you know, just like a deep... It was a lot to take in. Cleansing. I couldn't... I just couldn't talk about it yet. It was a lot to take in. Feeling better though. That's right, and so so she's now she's now recovered, so she's here. But then there will be a part three in January when the when the Gossip Girls reunite. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I will not be a part of that because they don't want me to be part of that. Plus, you guys, you really don't want me. Phil, to be part Phil, of that. you can be a part of it. Perhaps. You can come in like halfway through. Halfway. That's what through. She said. There you go. Um, but uh, anyway, let's start with the aftermath of Bart. Um, because what's your feeling? You know, I, I know, especially I want to get your take on this because you guys talked a lot about Chuck and Blair now being the villains because of this. And what was your feeling now as... I haven't cried like that since Titanic. Oh, there we go. So sad. No, I just felt like it was uncharacteristic, uncharacteristic of them not to help. I understand that Bart was this evil man who was ruining their lives, but to become basically murderers by letting him fall off a building was too far. I think they should have attempted to help. He should have slipped. Like, it could have been... It was so easy to fix instead of letting them just stand there blankly, like... Not but do you think ultimately anything. he should have died? Yes. Okay. I'm fine with him dying. That has n- no part whatsoever. Bart can be... Bart was supposed to die months ago when he was supposed to die, you know? Yeah. This but re- death number two. Remember how I, like, I came into Gossip Girl and all I kept joking about was Chuck about, I have to defend my father's legacy. So now he's really come full circle in that. This is true. I forgot See? about that. See? I forgot about that. Always, He's always going on, and then he killed him. That's it. In essence. I, I make them equal. If you don't help someone's life, you basically kill them. Interesting. Interesting, Sarah. Well, um, but the solution to this is that he has to get married. Well, before that, what did you think of, like, the immediate aftermath of, like, that night where um, where Chuck and Blair, they're basically making out, and then the cops come, they're, like, kind of scurry off, and then we have chair. Yes, chair. we have chair. <laughs> There's a Steven chair. Stephen brought up a chair on the photo. Great. Um, very creative. Um, and then uh, we have Georgina kind of talking with the cops, and the cops, oh, like— and, like, getting out in the limo and the trunk and getting through all of that. Yes. Well, I mean, they had to do it. To me, that part wasn't that important, them sneaking out. They, they're they capable of so much. Sneaking out of a party that's locked in by the police doesn't seem like that difficult of a mission. What did you think of the overall finale? Why don't we go back a little bit? Overall finale. I mean, this is it. This is it for Gossip Girl. Which is just so depressing. The first hour... I was like, we'll, we'll talk about that. Are you talking about the first hour? I'm as talking in, about the whole. You just asked me how I felt about the whole finale. Are you okay. talking about just the show part? Just the show finale? part. We'll talk just about the the first hour at a later point in the show. Fine, I can include them in the entire finale. I think that, I mean, we had we knew that there was going to be two weddings. I in no way thought that it was going to be Blair, and then it was going to be Serena, but. 
I think that that kind of brought it back to the fact that these were the two girls that this show was about. And that centering on them was good for mm -hmm. me. I think it ended the way that fans wanted it to end. I mean, you had to have chair just needed to happen. If that didn't happen, I would have I would have not come. Okay. I would not have been here. I would have never spoken about Gossip Girl again if Chuck and Blair hadn't ended up together. I would have been done. I would have been but and then the Dan and Serena, I'm not a fan, but I feel like in general it needs well, there, to happen. Well, there, there, there's a lot of debate about, should, you know, um, Nate didn't get married. Who should have Nate gotten married to? Should he got gone with Serena? And what happens to the Lonely Boy in that case? There's th th there's heated debate on this, Sarah. What are your thoughts? I'm just glad that they dropped Sage out. I'm glad that Nate kind of was alone. They didn't have like everyone. Little... I, yeah, that seems to be the overwhelming response for that. I would like. I didn't even miss her. I was like, thank goodness they didn't try and make it all seem like they ended up a happy couple. I mean, Nate's was a little carried away. Like he's gonna be the youngest mayor in New York in the future. And I mean, I guess they had to give him something since he didn't have the happiness of a relationship and he was the one left out in the. Did cold. he want to be a mayor? Was that his kind of aspiration? I don't remember that like ever being an ambition of his. I mean, you know, news columnist, mayor, hand in hand. I guess. Who knows? No, um, I never heard of it, but it seems like they needed to give him something extremely powerful because everyone else was happy. He couldn't like, be running like GossipGirl.com or something like that. Gossip Girl died. Remember? Yeah, but yeah, but it's like Perez Hilton. Like eventually, you just get to a point where like yeah, Perez Hilton writes, but he's not like the end all be all for PerezHilton.com. I mean, Nate couldn't really do a Gossip Girl thing because the Spectator like fought Gossip Girl. Okay. You know. Nah. And they insinuated that a new generation was going to take over Gossip Girl. I mean, well, that we have to talk about, certainly. So let's, let's hold off on that. Let's go back to the wedding. I mean, um, what was interesting is that this was not the dream wedding for Blair. True. By, by any means. But I did like the fact that she said, you know what? At least I have, I'm with the person that I love, and that's all that really matters. <laughs> So she's changed too. I mean, it wasn't the huge thing, but we already saw Blair do that. And this, I thought it had elements of Blair and Chuck still in it. I mean, you had the running around, you had the high pressure, you had, they were in like an Andy Warhol exhibit for part of it. And then they get the fantastic gown from the designer and he's in a white tux. So it had these little elements that still reminded me of their relationship. Sure, it wasn't the big, huge thing, but... I didn't need that because we've already seen Blair have that. Okay. Like, were they just going to repeat the same wedding? Some people were disappointed, I will say. I from what I've been reading. But that's good. That's good. See, that's why we need diff That's why we need three parts to this. So we can have three different opinions. We're just trying to draw it out so this show never ends. That's right. <laughs> that's Steven crying in the booth. That's actually Steven. Yeah, I don't cry like that. <laughs> um, all right. I mean, uh, what I didn't like is that the I liked the wedding, but it for me, it took up a little bit too much time. I felt there was so much to resolve that I didn't need the wedding to be the, the only plot point. You to needed bring these it kind of, though. They couldn't completely skim over it because this is Chuck and Blair. Like, they need, you need to give them time. Okay. We, we, you can't we, just skim over them. They need something. They okay. need to have some crazy aspect to it. Fair enough. Um, I mean, yeah, yeah. I, I, the one thing that I didn't, I mean, not that I didn't like it, but now as I think about it and just mm -hmm. for sake of discussion, you know, a lot of their friends didn't help them in this kind of planning, you know? They attended, but they didn't really help but that's organize also, it. None of the friends actually knew what was going on with them. I mean, we see that like Georgina had some idea because she helped them escape through the limo car a limo driver but none of them was present for the whole bart thing and there's the conversation between chuck and nate where he's like you don't want to know no. so they kept them all out of like the truth of the rooftop and not not so they couldn't have really helped with the planning of the marriage because they didn't know what was going on yeah so the only one who knew what was going on was um chuck's uncle planning this marriage so that she'd have like 
spouse of protection and wouldn't have to testify against him. Let me ask you this. Is this now with the death of Gossip Girl, can they, are they allowed to now keep secrets and will, like, ultimately their lives just be more devious because there's no one spilling these out into the world to the masses? Didn't you see how happy they were? They've grown up. They're no longer devious people, obviously. <laughs> Hopefully they've grown up. <laughs> they don't need Gossip Girl because they can all be friends. And none of them are outsiders anymore, Phil. I mean, that, that, fair enough. I agree. What, what about the, um, with Lily, um, that kind of storyline? Remember, um, I mean, are you talking about with her getting back with William and... And them kicking out, um, I forget her name. I'm not good with the names. That's, that's where I depend on you guys. I'm just Are you fan. talking about Charlie Ivy Crazy Person? Yeah, where they kicked her out the, from the uh, hotel. When she's like, I love you, William. And he's like, I don't know who you are. And then he's like, wait, I only want Lily. Yeah. Um, one problem with this episode was that they covered a lot of things really really quickly yeah on a cursory level yes like it was cameo central and that was like how they touched everyone in the show they were like oh and here's a flash of her and here's a flash of her and like lily and william i when they fell back in love with each other it's completely skimmed over um it was it was crazy to me it didn't make any sense there was no real reason behind it but I see like the end result, why they where they wanted everyone to end up, and they had to put that little moment in there. Yeah, I mean, from a story perspective, it's just one of those things where um, they do this in movies sometimes, like to cover up plot holes. They won't mention it, and they'll just continue the quote train faster until it gets to the end. So that way, by the end, you won't have noticed. But unfortunately, with the TV series, and especially with us, if you're going to be retrospective. You're going to pick out those potholes and you're like, like, wait, that wouldn't have made sense. This is the so most. That's thought... the inherent problem with that type of storytelling, unfortunately, but I think it's a conscious decision that they made. Yeah. I mean, I think my, what I am fascinated by is I just want to go back and find out all the things that Dan shouldn't be Gossip Girl for. We, we, um. Because they skimmed over that too. They were like, well, why was Gossip Girl mean to Jenny? And it was like, Jenny actually wanted to leave and told him to put it in herself and all yeah, that I mean, stuff. They, they made their different pr points. I mean, they, you know, they, they focused on the aspects that would have made Dan Gossip Girl, especially like with Serena. Like, I texted Gossip Girl to be there and who shows up but Dan, which is fun. So, I don't know. I thought I'd want to go back just for my own knowledge. Be like, I, I'm convinced that they didn't plan that it was Dan until maybe like. I Maybe think we the have end of last I, season. No, we don't have we don't have Martin joining us on Gossip yeah. Girl. Why? I mean, I can join you if you Hello. want. Hello, we have we have Engineer Martin. I uh, was just hanging out and was just going to enjoy part two of the show, but I can talk about it if you want. Were you involved in part one of the show? I was involved engineering of the show. What are you guys talking about? The wedding? Here, slide a little bit this way so we can actually see. Okay. We're talking about are we talking Gossip about the Girl wedding? loves to skim over things to cover up. It's a giant gaping hole. Well, I mean, they've. <sighs> Kind of made it up as they went along, but a lot of shows do that, though. I think, let me ask you this. You, you, I mean, he actually watched Gossip Girl, the finale, just because You he watched was, the finale? I did. did my sister was very, My sister was very much into it, so I can remember her watching it in high school, so I would skim. So I know who Chuck and Blair and everyone is. So what, what did you think? What, what do we think? Let's get to the reveal of Gossip Girl being Dan, and, and your. let's get your thoughts first. Well, there was, there, I feel like there was a lot of chatter that it was going to be Dan, so... Well, especially here at After Buzz, you couldn't get away from that. Well, I don't want to say it was the obvious one, but I don't know. I feel like once it was revealed, like we talked about yesterday, there wasn't really like a big like, oh, that's who it was. It was just kind of like, okay, it's Dan. Cool. Moving on. I felt like... They tried to make it in the show a big deal that it was him. Like they had every no, they had every character. Yeah, like, well, yeah. Like Blair was like, I thought it was Dorota, and like everyone said right. their own opinion. But I feel like all of the audience, or you're right, at least everyone after Buzz was like, Yeah, great. So it was kind of yeah, it was kind of sad in a way. I would have yeah. been more fascinated if it was someone else. I think it's just again, I I, I kind of touched upon this, and and I want to get your thoughts, Sarah, because you're, there's there's Penn on the TV screen for us here. I he looks be, like an elf in that picture. 
Well, his, his him and him and um. That doesn't even look like him. No, he looks. Doesn't he look like an elf? He does, but remember him in uh, when when they're cutting to the flashbacks of him looking at Serena. He looks With his so shaved head. Yeah, he looks so ridiculous. So that's kind of him in his ridiculous stage. It happens. Um, but let me ask you this. I mean, uh, again, we kind of find out who Gossip Girl is, and I'm. It's it's sad where I'm not as interested to look. It's it would be interesting to go back to the first seasons and see how they made these clues. But at the end of the day, the dramatic irony doesn't necessarily help the story. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. It's not like this big aha moment but, of like, oh my but god. Dan being Gossip Girl gave him this key into being included in their world. Because he, he would have been reason. outside of it if well, he didn't. Because if but, you're not but the, talked about, then you're not important. Was that always something. the kind of controlling idea? I think that was a huge part of it, was that he created, like... But not in today's episode, in, in general, the scheme of Gossip Girl. The, yes, in the giant okay. picture. Well, they mentioned, they were like, Blair's always looked down on um, Penn being like, oh, Lonely Boy, he has no influence, he's not important. And they pointed out that he was the one controlling all the strings all along. So in actuality, he was more powerful than Blair throughout this entire show because he was Gossip Girl. So it was that he was like hide like his writing controlled all of their lives, but they just didn't know it. So this whole time they've seen him as insignificant, but in truth he actually was impacting them more than like anyone else. And that's unfortunately that wasn't the final beat. I don't know. It just it didn't quite register in that way. Well, didn't you say last, you said on part one of the podcast that you wanted the big reveal to impact I the did. story or influence it? And I don't know if it necessarily And everyone's just kind of accepting. It. Yeah, it didn't, I don't think it really made a forward movement. It made more of like a reflective yeah. action. It wasn't like something that propelled another story, but do they really need it to be propelled because it's the end. Yeah, do you think, Sarah, that the writers had it like Dan in mind as Gossip Girl from season one, or do you think that as as they went along, they're just kind of like, oh well, we got to pick someone. I really don't think they had it in mind. Really, yeah. Here, here's the best way to explain it. And sorry to get all kind of theoretical. It should have been the climax of the story. In fact, it, whereas right now is more the resolution part of the story, and that's I think the big yes. difference. You know, the the climax in this episode was the wedding. It should have been Gossip Girl's reveal. Yeah, but they. It was kind of like, well, we have to reveal who Gossip Girl is anyway, so let's just do but it. Again, I think, you, I don't know. And the ultimate would have been to, to join the two together in one and the same. Where, the wedding where, and where, the reveal? Where the reveal affected the wedding. And I don't know how you do that. And again, I'm just being well, very nitpicky. In a very, in a very small way, it did. Very small. Which would be the fact that um, Dan chose not to reveal the, where the wedding was happening to the press or else like the police would have gotten there sooner right and it ended up being some random people who are waiting yeah for gossip girl to do it who finally gave up on gossip girl and called the police themselves so if i guess some other person had been gossip girl and revealed it right away they might have not got married or something who knows maybe there's a little influence there but if they wouldn't have gotten married the story would have had to have changed a little like someone would have had to gone to jail or some. There would have been some ramifications if they didn't get married for what yes. happened. Oh, certainly. This we know. Um, Covering up those holes, you know. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, all in all, I mean, hey, at the end of the day, it's it's been a fun journey. I can't lie. Um, no, it has. <laughs> Sarah, what? I mean, honestly, Chuck and Blair are together. We can all be happy. <laughs> and then. And they have a child. What, what, Henry. Little Henry. Little Henry. Or is it Henri? Is it French? No, no I guess it's not. Henry. No, we we forgotten the French. Remember that was that was Louis. <laughs> yeah, we've forgotten that marriage. Um, Louis's long gone. <laughs> yes, he never came back. Um, he didn't even have a cameo. Everyone else did. What did you think? Everyone of else Bell? was in. What did you think of Kristen Bell? And I thought that was pretty cute. I love that they had Kristen Bell in it because I was like, they need to. Like everyone knows it's her voice. She has to be somehow tied into this. It's a little cheesy how they tied her in, but. At least she was tied in. So I was very happy about that. Um, what's the brunette's name? She's Rachel Bilson. I was very confused why it was Rachel Bilson, though. Heart of Dixie. 
they were promoting CW shows. And oh, she's kind of a fashion. She has her own fashion uh, article and something. So yeah, I mean, she's, she's kind of like fashion girl. I mean, I was like, I don't know. I understood that like they're both. But yeah, I agree with Phil. Hardy Dixie, little cross promotion. Yeah, that's Throwing ultimately it out why. There. Yeah. ultimately why they did it. Yeah, and it's just a fun little jab. Um, any other thoughts on the finale? And then, you know, right after this, I mean, we're going to talk I about the first so hour. many thoughts on the finale, but I think I Go can ahead. save some of them for part three. All right, how about give us one no. give, or a tease? A tease? Yeah, te tease the audience, as they say. Well, did you guys talk about the five years later? No, we haven't talked about that. Well, we did. We, we talked Ish. a little bit about the end. About Phil thought it was seven. Serena. I didn't know how. I missed the part where they actually said how many years it was. Did they actually specify? Susie said they did. I don't remember that happening. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't but know. But I mean... Susie's drunk. <laughs> Susie, if you're listening, you are drunk. <laughs> Very drunk. I don't remember exact years, but the kid The kid's look, five, right? Yeah, so it couldn't have been exactly five years. It wouldn't have to be more. Well, she could have gotten pregnant, right? I mean... She could have already been pregnant. They, we never knew. There you go. Another right. hole to fill in. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> No, but yeah, we talked a little bit about Nate and all of their futures and how they're still friends. And I want to know how Georgina ended up at this wedding and all. Of, we haven't talked about any of the other pairings in that room. So, so it's, uh, no, we need to save things. All right, Phil. let's save. It. All right, let's talk about the first hour Gosh. because that I know you guys won't talk about um, in your part three. Yes, we will. We'll talk about everything in our part three. Oh, excellent! I'm looking Susie forward to it. Susie says it said five. It said five on screen. Is Susie on the chat? I she is very Su much so on I the show. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Susie. Okay, Susie so it, then, then I guess we have to believe Susie. I'm gonna rewatch it, and I but I believe her. She's so, a dedicated fan. So what she Sarah said, stuff. that kid looked five. So maybe they just couldn't find a four year old. Yeah, I know. Maybe. Or maybe right. he's an old looking toddler. <laughs> maybe it was a quick pregnancy. You never know. Let's talk about the first hour. I thought you know. I, here's here's when I actually when I first read the description, I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like. You remember Saved by the Bell, where basically uh, Zach Morris is sick and uh, AC Slater visits him, and they reminisce on the summer that they had. I thought it was gonna be like one of those where they just reminisce on their mm -hmm. lives. A flashback episode, basically. Yeah. Whereas this was just a straight up behind the scenes. Yeah, I was, I was kind of angered by it actually. A little bit. <laughs> I was like, how long is this gonna last? I was like, this better not be the whole thing. I was like, when is this gonna switch over to? The actual like I'm I feel like I've been waiting for what's going to happen and you're giving me interviews. I was not happy. I actually didn't mind that. I thought it was cute. Yeah, I was not happy. I also probably have just like read so much and watched so many interviews anyway that I'd heard Maybe. most of it. So I was like, I've uh -oh. heard about how it's a show grounded in fashion. I've heard about how like they were inspired by the books. I've heard about like all the actors' perspectives on what this has done for their careers and how much they love it and how much they love each other. And I was like, okay. Have you read the book, sir? I did read the first two when they first came out. How many are there? Six? No. Six, I think. I'm not sure. I think six. Is I it like the little boxcar children or do, what, what are they called? That series? How many books does that have? That is that's like a 800. lot. Yeah, that's, that is like 800 is, books. I do not think there are 800 Gossip Girl books. No, no, uh, the little boxcar box children. children. But that's a whole other thing. Yeah. It might be before Sarah's time. I mean, maybe. It's going I'm straight bear. over Am my I head. really? Are we that older than Sarah? I'm I, I thought I was like one year older than Sarah. No, you're an old man compared to Sarah. <laughs> and I'm even, I'm Feral. a dinosaur compared to Sarah. Oh, jeez. How old are you? No, we won't ask that. Uh, yeah. I'm never supposed learned. to ask a lady. How old do I look? 18. <laughs> I'll take it. Legal age. <laughs> 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 that was a strategic answer. That's right. No. Um, did, you find any, did you find anything new that you didn't know from those other interviews? Because, again, for me, this was kind of like the first time that I've seen behind the scenes with Gossip Girl. So for me, it was new. I guess for you, it wasn't. But did you gain anything? I don't think I did. Ooh. Maybe that's why I didn't like it. Because I really don't think I learned anything. I'm trying to think. Martin, did you watch this part? I saw a little bit of the behind the scenes. Did you? And I gained stuff, but I'm not a diehard fan. Like, what Yeah, but you you're though? a filmmaker. Did you find anything interesting? I mean, it was cool. Just this, But yeah, but... I've heard about the show and I know about the show in terms of it being grounded in fashion and that's all they kind of, you know what I mean? It's like all that stuff. That. And a lot of it was just like, oh, we're going to miss it Yeah, we're going to so miss it. Much. Yeah, it's the typical like. Oh my gosh, there were so many fans on this set. Oh right. my gosh, like we were so happy. It was so great to be in this. I was like. 
It's All the right. typical series finale. Let's get the interviews, and everyone's going to pine about how fun it was, how much Maybe it meant. Maybe it's just me. Man, I, mean, hey, man, I just what like that you stuff. Learn? You couldn't be sentimental. What did, I, what did I learn? I mean, it's not that I didn't learn anything specifically, but I, I liked the evolution. I liked, you know, from where they began. I liked hearing um, uh, the producers talk. I liked the kind of how they brought in the music obviously it's very music centric and how they got the different bands and you know some of those stories of um uh, the sonic youth when they got them for the way you know i thought it was interesting how they brought in those different elements and some of those little key parts i thought it was neat i did learn i agree too so. oh. oh hello thinking... hello Susie. hi also can i say Martin, you're really hot. Oh! oh. <laughs> Did Why, you know Martin's married, you. though? Show him that wedding ring. He's already taken, taken, ladies. Sorry. But I do appreciate that. Thank you, Susie. You're welcome. I, I just had to throw that in there. But, I'll take it. Yeah. He's blushing. I'm blushing. I, He's blushing. If you can zoom in on me, I'd be blushing. I've never gotten that, that by the way. In. What the fuck? I'll take it. She's you, been on the line for three minutes without too, talking. Though. Excellent. Huh. Wait, Susie, what did you so what did you think of the whole finale? Um, overall overall I I mean overall I thought it was good. Um the, I mean there were parts some okay, can I can I mention something that last night wasn't talked about or or right now? Absolutely. Sure. That, okay, that is that this whole entire season, Rufus was pointless. Like, like he's absolutely pointless this whole season. Even in the finale, he had like one scene with Dan that was like, like um, like a half a minute, and it was just absolutely pointless. And even it would it would have been less pointless if like him and Lily. Like I couldn't even tell if in the in if I couldn't tell if in the five years later. If him and Lily were together or not? No, Lily was or, definitely with William, and he was with like yeah, with, his matching glasses he, partner I, woman. It was well. Is that Dan's mom? I think that was Dan's mom that came back. I don't know. I mean, it, I would assume it was Dan's mom because Dan and Jenny's mom. But mm -hmm. I, she was back in like season one. I don't. No, maybe it wasn't Dan and Jenny's mom, but she was back in season one. But I don't. I don't know. I guess I guess was so, Rufus's girlfriend. I totally agree with you that, like, Rufus has just been, like, floating around being, like, his biggest thing was that he was used as a sexual object by <laughs> some girl Hey, that's not a bad thing to be. Less than half his age. No, um... Hey, especially a, less, a girl less than half his age? That's all... Wait, is that no, good or bad? No. But part of me thinks that they that's couldn't so put Lily and Rufus back together because they put Dan and Serena together. Like, as much as, yeah. like, we always saw that battle between them being, like, step-siblings and lovers or whatever, I think in the yeah. end result, they wanted to make sure that Dan and Serena can, you know, have this, like, legitimate, happy relationship. Yeah, I guess that was a big thing. Like, like I know Roxy thought that, but, like, <laughs> ugh, like, Dan and Serena can never be together if Rufus and Lily are together, but... I'm gonna make sure she she's mentions rock. it. She's. I'm gonna. I'm gonna hear Roxy's opinion on this in part three of. You know what's interesting? I feel like kind of like Lonely Boy. I, you know, I I didn't have a voice, so I've decided to create After Buzz TV. I didn't create After Buzz TV, but I made Listen After Buzz TV, inserting my him. voice. In the, no, yesterday as I'm talking on the phone with Where's Sarah, the she's like. Fair? Wait, wait, Phil, all you want to do is listen to your own voice, and that's why you oh. want to do this Gossip Girl show. No. And I was so mad when I heard that. I was like, Sarah, honestly, like, that's that's really what you think of me as? Thank you. So you know what? Phil really just, just I really think that Phil had some really, really big opinions on this finale. You, he needed to say you, them as quickly as possible. Sarah, you should have seen him yesterday when he found out that no one was coming in for the Gossip Girl finale. He was... So pissed. Oh, he was livid. I'd like I to have a calm discussion on this, this is topic. This yeah. is the real reason. We were mourning, but we were also scared of Phil. So we were like, everybody Why needs was to calm down. He was, Everyone uh, needs time to reflect. All right, how he about broke the, some After Buzz mugs. It just got, it got I aggressive. I don't, I don't have news and gossip because I'm going to save all of that for you girls when you do your part three. Um, so, Steven, let's roll some 
outro music. And in the meantime, Martin, you have Instagram. I have Instagram. Follow me. Martin Vias is my name. And my Instagram is M Vias V A L L E S 28. Follow me. That's my only social media Bye, thing. Bye, Susie. Bye, Susie. Sus Thank you for that compliment. That was very sweet. Thank you, Susie. Um, where can they find you, Sarah? Nowhere. And I'm a big <laughs> film coming out soon, hopefully. Um, you can catch me on another AfterBuzz show called Revenge. And Gossip Girl, Gossip Happy Girl Part Holiday. Three. Wait, Gossip Girl Part Three. When is that? Gossip Girl Part Three podcast. That yeah. will be, that will be in the January. Ooh. You know, we've got to space it out a little bit. Um, we got to reflect. But yes, everyone, happy holidays to you guys. Thank you so much for listening on behalf of Roxy, on behalf of Jessica, on behalf of Sarah for what they have done every week for all of these seasons. Round of applause for the it Gossip really Girl It truly is amazing, girls. and I am blessed to have been a part of it at the bittersweet end. So thank you guys for listening and being a part of that conversation. And hey, if you want to rate and comment on iTunes, we, we truly appreciate it. I don't know what good it'll do, but you know what? Give us five stars just so we can have a good memory. Five stars. It's, it, it'll be your holiday gift to us. Uh, our holiday gift to you will be in January when we come back for the part three finale. So until then, I'm signing off for 2012. From Bing.com, executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, Buzz you later, later. XOXO. Yeah, XO. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.